Welcome to the Base Sport 2019 Pedalfish Pro. This is our 3.2 metre Pedalfish kayak uh, with the gear drive system. Now I've had a few people wanting to not just see the photos, um, but also get a bit of a video walkthrough of this awesome new kayak. Um, in particular, just showing you some of the features such as the gear drive system, um, and how the actual pedal drive system, uh, how easily it can be lifted up and out of the water, especially for when you're in um, you know, mangroves, um, you've got basically shallow waters, sandbanks, uh, and you need to get that propeller system up and out so that you don't snag. So what I might do is just start from the front of the kayak. We'll do a little walkthrough. So this beauty is 87 centimeters in width and 3.2 meters in length with an overall height of 37 centimeters. Now, what it's great about this kayak is it's a very big, open and spacious cockpit. Uh, you'll notice that it's got a very flat footing position, uh, a nice big stadium comfort seat uh, which is what you really want for a couple of hours out on the water. Um, and a pretty decent size rear storage area for your esky. You can chuck a crate under there, etc. So up the front here, we've got the inbuilt handles for easy carrying. This here's your sump plug, obviously making sure it's completely tight before heading out. And if you're ever leaving the kayak out in uh, the sun, you know, for a little while or just not covered, uh, basically opening this up releases any of the, the hot air that builds up inside. Uh, so you unscrew that just to release any air out of there so that you don't get any uh, deformities with the kayak. Moving down, you've got these cleats, two on the left side, two on the right side plus a little grab for the bungee cord. Now this is obviously to, if you're going for a bit of a bumpy ride, maybe in the harbour, um, where you might get a bit of uh, liftage. So this is to hold whatever is in here nice and secure. So what we'll do is just open it up. We'll do those two. And you can see it easily opens up. And what you've got there is a nice, pretty deep storage area. Uh, with about 35 litres of um, storage in there. There is a drainage plug, um, so whatever you put in there, uh, if it's always going to drain out the bottom. Um, so that's good for maybe your, your tackle box, that, or maybe just a dry bag that you're not going to um, need, because obviously the, the length between the seating area and here is a good uh, about a metre, so it's not for your, your stuff that you want to access in a, in a hurry. It is detachable and uh, the actual hatch lid has got some rubber seal around it um, which makes it watertight. So basically any water that hits the top of the lid uh, should just run over the side. And down through these channels here and back into the water. So that's excellent drainage there. Uh, at the front you've got two mounted swivel rod holders or pistol grip holders as some of you call them and uh, these are great um, it's just on a little sliding um, rail here so you've got two sliding rails at the front of the kayak uh, so you can basically adjust where you want them and then the two pistol grip rod holders which are included you just loosen it there and the great thing with this ball joint is you can change to have it in any direction or position that you want. Um, obviously you just set it to the right spot and then you just tighten here. Bob's your uncle. Now the kayak, um, I know a lot of people have written in and actually uh, said how good having all these rails are. So basically if you look at the kayak, you've got two small ones up the front. You've got two big long ones, about 80 centimeters on either side. So these are great for your rail blazer mounts, your um, GoPros. Uh, there's you know, super, super many different types of mounts you can now put 
on the kayaks, um, even your fish finders and transducers. Um, there's plenty of room, uh, so that's a really, really nice feature. Down the back, just quickly, these also double as uh, rail holders. So you got six in total on the Pedal Fish Pro. Right, to the pedal drive system. This is a gear powered uh, drive system. Solid piece of kit. Really solid steel construction. Um, you just gotta feel it for yourself to actually feel how solid it is. It weighs seven and a half, eight kilos. Um, it's not super light, but it, once you feel it, you'll, you'll get an idea for how um, you know, solid this piece of machinery is. Uh, so I'll give you a quick rundown. It's held in position here, just with a, a screw. Now, as you can see, it can go both forward and in reverse. Really nice feature. I know a lot of you have said it's uh, nice to have a pedal drive system that you can quite easily and obviously very quickly change the direction. And I'll give you a little view from the underside. That's going in reverse. That's going forward. So, I'll give you a quick demo. These Velcro straps. I've obviously already got them adjusted for my foot size and comfort. You can adjust them. Now I'm six foot one and a half, almost six two. And um, look, this is very comfortable. Um, would recommend this kayak for people up to sort of six foot three maximum height. And you can just sort of see it's not much movement there in the actual system. So this is with no uh, resistance, obviously in the water, the water gives you resistance. So it does feel more, uh, more smooth. I'll give you a little view from the side. And underneath, changing directions. So again, it's very comfortable sitting in the stadium seat, uh, which is raised, um, and it just helps relieve that lower back pressure, uh, as well as raise you. Okay, so to answer the question, how quick can you pull it out? Well, let's give you a quick test. Ready? Clip them open, throw that to the side, bolt up, pinch them, making sure that the pedal's obviously quite straight like that uh, and the blade's not gonna, the propeller's not gonna be bent. Simply whack it up. There you go. So you can see less than 10 seconds. And obviously the more times you do it, the quicker you'll get at it. So I'll pop this back down. Lock it in position, pull it across, push it across, push down. On the sides, two steel, stainless steel handles with some sort of like a uh, foam pad. So it makes it nice and easy to grip, especially if your hands are slippery from, you know, all sorts of things. So uh, really sturdy handles, uh, that's not gonna be breaking off. That's a solid piece of equipment. Um, got one on either side. Now to the seating cockpit area. This is the stadium seat. Uh, it's a mesh seat. Um, I mean, it's probably the best seat you can get on the market. It's um, a really high quality uh, mesh seat. Very comfortable, um, quite wide. So for the larger fellas, um, it can definitely support you. And um, you know, it's got the high back. So the seat height is around um, 60 centimeters high. So it's it's truly a an all day type. Um, Comfortable, comfortable seat. Around the back, 
You can see there's a bit of storage underneath here. Now at the rear you've got two built-in flush rod holders, one there, one in the back. And this rear area is a, another two drain pipes for drainage. One, two of them, and you can see the grooved drainage lines slanted down to ensure that um, water really won't build up in, in there. And now if you go to the very back, it's got another inbuilt handle. Um, this little part here is, uh, if you want to set up a bimini, um, or even put a deeper rudder system uh, in the back, you can slot one in there, which takes me to the very bottom. That is the stern rudder system. It does a pretty good job. Um, can turn pretty damn quick. You can see it's got quite a wide berth here, and it's all controlled from this control arm here. So obviously if you want to turn right, you turn it right. If you want to turn left, you turn it left. So that's obviously very easy access and uh, ergonomically placed. Now the last part of the kayak, obviously this is all on the top, so I'll um, answer another uh, busy question, which is, let's see the underside. Here we have the hull of the Pedalfish Pro. Now you can see it's quite a wide kayak, and this is often referred to as a cat style hull or a W-shaped hull. And the idea with it is due to you being uh, a bit raised on the stadium seat, obviously your center of gravity is higher. Um, so perhaps you might be paddling or pedaling and you decide to do quite a sharp turn using the rudder system. These thick and wide side walls give you good secondary stability and that helps keep your stability and correct you back to your balance. Um, so a really, really nice style. I know the feedback on this has been excellent in terms of stability um, at 87 centimeters wide. But another great feature, as you can see here, perhaps better from this angle, is the deep grooved hull lines. So what these do is these channel the water really deep, keep it nice and straight. So basically when it, the water pops out the back of your pedal kayak, the stern rudder doesn't have to do much work changing or turning its direction to actually change the direction of your kayak um, quite significantly. So that's because of these deep pockets channeling all the water down. Um, a slight change in the rudder uh, will have a great um, and significant impact um, on turning the kayak with ease. Um, quite sharp as well, if you need to. So, the front of the kayak, you can see it's got a little uh, bowed V shape. Um, it's obviously upside down, but what that does is it helps in choppier waters uh, where you might have a bit of swell um, and you're going you know, between waves effectively. Um, that helps lift and obviously then the kayak won't nosedive and take on a whole heap of water, uh, which isn't the end of the world. You can always use the drainage plugs to drain it out. Any of these 10 drainage holes on your kayak. But it's just a good uh, bow shape. Helps it keep from nose diving um, and obviously assists with um, grabbing the water right from the front at the V. And that's where it begins to go down, channel, and helps with the efficiency of keeping in a straight line for when you are pedaling straight. And I'll just give you a little walk around so you can see it from all angles. Also included with the kayak, obviously for shallow waters, um, just before you embark uh, and need to paddle out before you 
release the pedal drive system down into at least about 40, 50 centimetres of water beneath. Uh, included is a two-piece alloy paddle, uh, adjustable, so you can change its offset position. So it's three different positions there. And obviously a handy paddle saver. So you just pull that out, put it over and release. And that'll hold the paddle out of the way and outside the boat so you're free to move around. Uh, the paddles do float if you happen to uh, lose it somehow, but um, the paddle saver should keep that nice and secure. And there you have it. That's the video walkthrough of the 2019 Pedalfish Pro 3.2 meter pedal kayak from Bay Sports. Also available in a four meter version. Uh, obviously more suited for ocean and bigger bodies of water. Um, this one more suitable for rivers, creeks, where you need a bit more maneuverability. Um, simply just wanna uh, navigate through little nooks. Any questions, please feel free to touch base with any of the guys at Bay Sports. Uh, you can purchase these online at baysports.com.au. Thanks for watching.